Hey guys, it's Yvette. I am here with my Pink Castle Fabrics. I have two clubs that I be uh, belong to with them and um, they get combined into one package so I have them both right in front of me today. Um, the first one is the stash stack of fat quarters. Um, and here is the package. I will, of course, open it and show you all the fabric inside. It looks like this month, um, they go with like a, a color theme every month. And these are our low volume, um, which I was very excited about. So I can't wait to open that up. And then the second one that I have is the Art Gallery Club. And this is a fat quarter bundle of their entire there's like a new they say that there's a new um line of fabric each month and i get like the entire line and there's 20 i think we get 20 um fat quarters in here um i don't know it's a lot and and so um i'm seriously thinking about like one of them at least i have to maybe um discontinue for a little while because <laughs> i have i i i'm in i i never thought i'd ever say this but I'm getting more fabric than I know what to do with right now. So, <laughs> um, some of this I'm pretty sure is going to be included in, uh, the giveaway. Um, you know who you are, Suzanne. So if any of this looks great to you, maybe, you know, express an interest. <laughs> um, but let's get it open. Here is the first stack. This is going to be the stash stack club. All right. Um, I'm going to hold them up for you. This one is a white print with blue scattered dots. Uh, and I'm gonna do my best to go um, pretty quick, but still let you guys see everything. And also try not to get too close to the light so that white doesn't flash it out. Um, Cause I know they're all low volume. So that's very easy to do. Um, some of them got a little bent. Here's the next one. It is a more of a cream colored white and it's got those X's that are also um, just kind of random. They're not perfect, which is lovely. This is a um, white, kind of a creamy white with a tossed, um, probably more like an orange dot, not even coral. It looks pretty orange actually. But they're small dots, so it's not, It's. I think it would go with a lot of things. And this is a very geometric print. It's white. And the, um, the lines are, they look in person to be sort of like a gray color. I'd say a bluish gray, just like they're sort of coming out um, in camera or on the camera. Okay, uh, this one... This is sort of a cream, and I don't even know what that little print is, but it's a cream color, and it's got this sort of a taupe uh, print on it. And I, it's, I mean, it's like a cross with a dot in each cross or <laughs> in each little slot. I don't know, something like that. Um, this one, yeah, okay, so this is nice. I mean, it's not perfect white, but I wouldn't exactly say it's cream. It's sort of like in between that, if if it could possibly be, maybe a light beige. I don't know. Um, and it's got little X's and triangles and dots and, you know, just tossed, about, tossed around. Oh, and there's a snag on the fabric. Maybe I could fix that. Okay. Um... The next one is like a cream with a taupe, um, sort of like little stars, but they're tossed. And it's like little hand-drawn stars. It's not like um, twinkle, twinkle little star type of thing. And this one is white um, with like some blue, teal, teal blue like tick marks, or I don't even know how you would describe that. And this one is white with, almost looks like a dish towel. Doesn't that look like um, like fabric they would use to make a dish towel? I think so. Um, so it's white and I, I guess you would say that's sort of like a tan um, lines through it like that. 
This one is white with a very light blue um, sort of print on it. To me, the lighter the better. It's so much easier because then you don't you don't have to sit you don't have to use like a perfect white, but you have it gives a little bit of character to it, and I like that. For the longest time, I resisted, but I now I really like that kind of stuff. Um, and this is sort of creamy looking. Um, it's got like a green, like a dark green geometric sort of print on it. <laughs> And this is the last one. I really like this one. This is great for fall. Um, it's white and it's got these multicolored little X's all tossed around. And these are perfect fall colors. I think they're really, really pretty. This is probably my favorite one uh, in the whole stack. Okay, so those are my low volume blenders. And now I'm going to open the Art Gallery Club fabric. Okay, I'm getting it. <laughs> All right, does it say? The only thing about this is that, you know, I mean, I, I'm happy that they're sending it. I think it's great, and, you know, we get the 20 fat quarters and all, but they never tell you what what the line is. I mean, I have to go searching the, the selvage, and I don't, you know, because I'm so busy. I don't have time, really, to keep up with what everything is. Okay, I see, hold on, maybe the next one. I, I think it might be uh, craft bound. It says, it's, the collection is craft bound. And the designer, they do have like a little arrow, but it, it keeps getting cut off, so hold up. Hmm, okay. I have to say this part is a little annoying. I mean, I don't know why you can't give us all the details on the receipt or something. All right, well, it's Art Gallery Fabrics. Um, it's called Craft Bound. <laughs> um, that's all I know. So I'm just gonna show you the fabric and we'll move on. Uh, this is the first print. And I have to say, okay, so I know that you guys are all, everybody's always trying to like read my mind and, and decide whether or not I like the fabric or not. Um, once again, I mean, I, I haven't even like barely started with it. So um, I have to say that this... Um, there are probably going to be a couple of the, maybe a handful of the prints that I will like. Um, but most of these are probably not my taste. So, um, I mean, these are great for me to be able to give out. And no one, I'm sure, as long as they enjoy the print, would turn down the art gallery fabrics because they feel really nice. Um, but that would be my opinion right now of Craftbound is that it's just not my style. I do um, like some of these colors, like um, the pink and the teal. I do really like, let me try to move this out of the way. Um, I do really like the color selection. It's just the prints that um, are just not really my style, but um, gorgeous. I mean, really great. Like, I love this color, um, the pink, but, you know, I don't know. It just it wouldn't be something I would pick up. But I'm happy to have it. Very happy to have it. Um, this is a white with little black triangles. And anything that's like black and white, I mean, you can find a good use for that anywhere. Um, and here is the next one. Let me see if I can, uh, probably wants to be held like this. And I love that the teal and the pink and even really that mustard, even though mustard is not something I usually gravitate toward, um, I do like those colors together. I'm just not a real geometric girl, you know? 
Okay. And this is close, or it's the, sort of the same type of thing, except it's black and white. And maybe they have this folded differently. Like maybe it's supposed to be shown this way. Not really sure. <laughs> um, but as I said, the black and white can almost be used anywhere. Okay. Um, this one is, um, I guess it is black. Black with a teal and mustard and the white background. Oh, I'm holding it too high. <laughs> I'm like holding it to the ceiling. <laughs> and here is the next one, which is mostly a mustard color. And then it's got um, the flowers, which are, I guess they're supposed to be black. It looks like a very dark gray to me. Um, so maybe a dark gray with the orange and pink and the little blue flowers in the middle. And, oh, this is like one of the low volumes that I just got. Uh, it's white with the little X's. Very nice. And here is a, again, I think I would call this like a dark gray. Um, and then it's got like a cream colored uh, little pattern on it there. And this is a light teal color with some little white arrows and dots. Now this one's interesting. I think it might be a panel, so let me put this to the side. <laughs> um, and this one's quite interesting too. I act Oh, see, now I'm finding a, some that I actually think are quite cute that I really like. Um, I like this quirky little print. It's blue uh, background and it's got the planets on it. So it's got like um, Saturn and I, what I would think is, I don't know, a moon rock. I don't, I'm not really sure, but this is very interesting. I think this would be great to make something for a boy um, or for me. <laughs> I think it's cute. It's very quirky. Um, let's see. This next one I adore. <laughs> this next one, I, I mean, I'm thinking maybe it's like little planets as well. I'm not sure, but adorable. Is that not like the cutest thing? I'm trying to get close without being too close that it washes it out. Um, but you see all the little planets have like little faces. And the, I love that, that's really cute. And oh, jelly bean's gonna come up. Up, JB no, don't stand on the fabric what if I'm gonna give it away scoochie scoochie this is a very cat friendly home I'm just gonna let you know if you ever get anything from me is from a cat friendly home <laughs> um, this is one with and I'm getting to the part where I really like I don't know if this is two separate this has to be two separate collections I mean I I can't imagine that they expect Expect this to all be together. I, But this second half here that I'm getting into, I'm really liking. This is all um, black fabric with uh, little white constellations all over. JB, don't do that, baby. Get up here. Come on. Good boy. You're so good. Okay. You okay up there, bud? Yeah, gonna take a bath? Okay. Um, and then this one, JB, I know, mommy gives you tons of fabric to play with and little strings. There's tons of little strings everywhere. You can't play with that one. Okay? No. You gonna go find something else? No. You, okay, but you can't take a nap on that one. You gotta keep moving, buddy. Keep on trucking. Come on. Come on. Hi, sweetie pie. Hi. He's like, well, I just woke up, Mom. I'm feeling rambunctious. I want to play. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, you know what I was thinking of? Like, smack in the middle of that. I don't know why it popped into mind, but um, 
maybe because it's slightly warm here in the house because you know the air conditioner is trying to like cool back down um but like in the courtroom when you go in there it is freezing like i thought it was I, here's the thing i'm one of those people that for the most part, I think that rules are rules. Like, they, there's a rule, you're not... Okay, so when I went online, I hadn't been to jury duty in, like, forever. So when I went online, and I'm trying to figure out what you're supposed to do, they specifically tell you that, you know, the courtroom is a place of, um, you know, they to respect everyone and to dress, you know, appropriately. I mean, you don't have to, like, go in in a suit. That's crazy, but, you know. Well, I showed up, you guys. There are girls there who are literally like half naked, okay? Little booty shorts on or shirts with like, they're all just like string tops and then they got flip flops on. And, you know, I mean, not that I'm, I mean, this is what I wore, right? With a nice pair of jeans and I had some boots on, you know, and I had brought, I did bring my, my uh, jacket that I kept from... <laughs> from the uh, FabFitFun style box, um, you know, just in case it was chilly or whatever. And I'm just, in the back of my head, I am just cracking up laughing because these girls are sitting in the courtroom, like, shivering to all the... Because I'm like, well, first of all, if you didn't show up here naked, uh, you know, you'd be f at least have some covering on your body. I mean, it was just, I, I just, I don't understand. I don't understand people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyway, but it was really cold. I mean, I would not be surprised if I found out that it was 60 degrees in there. I'm serious. I, I would not be surprised. It was that cold. Even with, like, my jeans, my, you know, I had boots on, my, well, three-quarter sleeve, um, and my jacket. I was cold still. So, it was cold. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> All right, so then I've got, oh my goodness gracious, I don't know how he does that. Um, so, this is a blue with little moon rocks that's what i'm gonna call it um blue with little moon rocks this is a really boyish um i mean i'm really liking it oh my gosh you guys wait till you see this hold on let me see does this have the same nope it's different this is called stargazer uh-huh okay so all of these that are like super duper cute these are stargazer and it just says designer agf studio that's all it says and then it says to bear finity and beyond freaking cute here is like some bears in outer space and it's a gray fabric i'm hoping you guys are seeing i'm trying to make sure you guys see that and not my big goofy head back there <laughs> um and then here's this one it's white with like little moons they're sort of sideways. Let me maybe put it this way. Is it too... Is it washing out? No, I think you can see that pretty good. Um, and then... See, I'm way too much of a perfectionist when I'm doing this, but at least I can go from video to video without having to clean up too much. Oh, my goodness, you guys. Oh, my goodness. It is blue fabric. I'm going to hold it up. It's blue fabric. It's got that little moon face with the little face. It's got like zebras and bears and all sorts of things like flying around with like their little. And it says, I love you to the moon and back. Oh my goodness. You guys. I, this is the whole piece. It's a fat quarter. And I look the little rocket ship over on the on the end here. Oh my goodness. I love that. That is adorable. Oh my gosh, you can keep that first collection. I'm really sorry whoever that first collection, you know, whoever did that. It's just not my taste, that's all. But this is adorable. I mean, the colors, I think, could be, you know, maybe a little bit brighter. But I, I love the prints. They're awesome. Um, here is a blue with little white hatch marks. And I think they have some little hatch marks in there that are sort of greenish. Just a tad bit. And then the last one, well, no, yeah, I'm going to do the panel. Um, this is a green with little stars, and I'm loving that, too. I love this color. 
this is really nice. I love that color. Okay, now, and I'm pretty sure this is a panel. So I'm going to stand up with it. It's a huge panel. It, okay, so maybe you can make a bunch of, like, pillows with this or something. Let me scooch this chair out. Um, oh, my goodness. This is adorable. All right, I'm going to tell you, the, the top one says, let your imagination run wild. The one under that says, explore endlessly. It's huge. Um, then it says, count shooting stars. Be wild and free. Be out of this world. Be happy, be bright, be you. I love that one. And limitless adventure. I'm going to do the best I can for you guys to see all this. There's the first one. The second one in that lovely green. It looks like a, a, that's the little zebra. And there we go. Let your imagination run wild. And then let me kind of fold it in half so I can show you the bottom ones. Ugh. That one's cute with the spaceship, huh? And they're big panels. This is huge. I mean, this has got to be a yard, at least, if not more. I mean, it's, this is very generous. I, you guys, this is adorable. I love this. Okay, so the thing, the bottom line with this one is, and I know you guys are like looking at my midsection here, which isn't the most attractive part of me. <laughs> um, but the, the bottom line on this, okay, as I, because I've had this now, I think this is either my second or third of the, I think it's the second, um, art gallery fabrics that I've gotten. And I guess I would say, um, now this, I get 20 fat quarters for $50. Okay. Um, I do think it's worth it. I, my thing is that so far, oops, I'm shaking the camera. Sorry guys. Um, so far, I love the art gallery fabric. Like when I'm feeling it, this one doesn't, for some reason, I don't know why, this one doesn't feel quite like the ones we get from Bonnie Christine. Like those feel softer for some reason. And these, these don't feel like the same way. Maybe that first collection sort of did, but then like this one doesn't really. I mean, not that it's terrible fabric. I'm just saying it doesn't quite have that same feel. Um, the only thing I would say about it is that they tend to have designs that are just not really my style. I mean, that's just... Um, and it's funny because when I was choosing, when I was going online to decide, you know, do I want to spend that kind of money or not, um, there actually were some collections that I liked. And I thought, oh my gosh, like if I would gotten that whole collection, I'd have been like over the moon. Or, um, so, you, it, so it really depends. And I know that that's actually very subjective with every single um, collection that there's going to be. You just don't know. Um, so, I mean, if you're cool with like just getting something that maybe you don't like that month, um, then I think, I really do think it's a great value. I mean, it really is. And this second half, uh, with all the little bears in outer space and everything, the Stargazer fabric collection, um, I really did enjoy. And I, I can see using that no problem. Um, I can make some really great pillows with that and um, pretty excited about that. Um, and then the blenders that I get, the Stash Stack Club, um, I'm not sure. I mean, I do like the idea of getting the uh, color theme in a month. And, um, but I have to be honest with you, like I've gotten this one, I think this is my third month. Um, and so far the other two stacks, I haven't even reached for yet. And I know you think that I don't ever use any of this fabric, but that's just not true. I go through a lot of this um, if I'm looking for something in particular and I'm up and down and it's really good for that. And so far I haven't really even like pulled from any of those. So I'm not really sure if it's something that I'm going to keep using. I don't know. So um, 
anyway, that's my round off right now for having this one for three months and this one for two months. And um, we'll just have to see how we go along. And I will see you guys next time. If you would like to leave some comments about this down below, I would sure like to read them. Uh, see you next time. Bye.